My name is Sydney Seymour. I'm going to be doing my um, clinical reflection video. We, for my clinical group, we bounced back and forth between a medical surgical unit where we got all ages and then the emergency department, which was very interesting to see how differently they did it up on the floors compared to right when somebody is admitted to the hospital or comes in and doesn't get admitted. Um, to start off, each day was started with the bedside shift report between two nurses, the incoming and the ongoing nurse. Um, something that I noticed that was very different in this is that usually in the adult hospitals when they do bedside shift report, the patient is either sleeping or they are able to interact with their care, but it's just the patient that's doing so. Whereas um, at Children's during my clinical, it was interesting to see how the parents got to be involved and point out little things that might help the nurses do their procedures faster and more efficiently for their kid. Because at the end of the day, like these parents know their kids a lot better than the um, staff does. And then similarly, similarly for the family-centered physician rounds, it was interesting to see that the residents would come around first and they would do their um, assessment and talk to the families. And then I believe that they would like report back to the attending physician and then the attending would come in and finalize like the plans for what they were going to do and the parents got to like fully understand what their child was going to have done what procedures what tests what medications any changes in the plan of care um, and it just seemed like the parents and the patient were like more involved in what was going on in the care that i noticed in children's um, compared to what i was used to seeing before that the nurses often organize their day more in like clustered care so I, th I think like there's a lot more that goes into like when you go into a patient's room each time in pediatrics you have to think about diaper changes or like if their family's not there and they're an infant you have to worry about feeding the patient and what formulas they're getting and different stuff like that so I noticed that the nurses kind of organized that kind of stuff along with like baths and playing with the kids along with the tasks that they had to do so that they didn't have to be going in and out, in and out all day long, um, which I thought was very helpful. It also gave the kids time to like relax and just like have fun between um, when people were coming in the room. The medication administration process that I saw at Children's was so different um, because you have, they, not all kids can take pills or not all kids liked the taste of their medicine. So the nurses kind of did whatever they could to get the kids to take the medicine in like the best way possible. Um, it's also interesting to see that in the adult world, a parent or a patient can just like say, I don't want to take that and the nurse would walk away. But in kids, it's so important for them to get their medications. And since they're not necessarily old enough, the parents would always help and step in and be like, okay, this is how my kid takes medications best. Um, and there was a lot of techniques for like making it fun and having the child understand that like this medication is really necessary for you to get better and just getting the medication in the patient, however, is like the easiest and best option. The assessments that I saw in the hospital were so much more um, interactive. They were fun. They took a lot longer for what I noticed, but um, the kids got to like interact. They got to try different instruments. Like I noticed that all the kids like love holding the stethoscope. Um, and it was just fun to see like how the nurse would try and get through the assessment while making it like interactive for the kid and making sure the parent under understands where the child is having deficits or what parts are like completely normal so that the parent didn't have to like worry the entire time. Um, I didn't see too many special procedures. Um, one thing that I got to see when I was in the emergency department is um, I got to see a kid get stitches. So it was like a three-year-old kid and he had to get stitches like right above his eyebrow. Um, obviously the kid was not very cooperative, but I learned like how they wrap the kid in a blanket to keep them from like moving their arms and legs, um, as well as having somebody like hold their head down um, all done like very safely, but just that the patient understands that we're not trying to hurt you. Um, we're not trying to restrict you, but we have to get this done and we have to make sure that you're still so that it can be done the right way and get you out of the hospital. <clears throat> um, two things that I liked about the nursing care is how interactive it was and how fun it was. So if 
a kid was sad, like there's a lot of bribing that I saw happen. Like, you know, if we, if you take your medication, like I'll get you a coloring book. And I think that this makes it so much more fun on both ends for the patient and for the nurse because the nurses got to like go and pick out like fun toys or stickers or like help a kid color. Um, and then the kid also really enjoys it because they're getting something fun out of it. So it feels less of like a hospital experience for them um, and more like fun and interactive for them. And then one thing that I thought that could have been differently, handled differently, um, sometimes I noticed that the nurses, especially in the emergency department, were not always like um, very like understanding of a kid's pain. I think it's just because they see so many like traumatic incidences maybe that like when they would get something that was more minor, they kind of were like, oh, like this kid like is saying that they're in so much pain, but like my other kid has like this diagnosis. So that was like one thing that I thought was hard to sit back and watch. Um, I think like differently, you can just like take each patient separately and understand that like they don't, they might not have like this really bad cancer and going through chemo, but like what they're going through is very painful for them. And this is like a stressful time. Um, and then finally, the patient's growth and development, I felt like was taken into consideration most for like the times of the day that the nurses would perform their care. So they would usually go into like the baby's rooms first um, and then save the adolescents for a little bit later. They also, when they would go into like an adolescence room, would kind of get in and get out as quick as possible because they were more cooperative and the adolescents just kind of like wanted them to get out of the room so that they could be on their own. Whereas like the kids, they would take their time with, they would interact with more, play with, try and stay with them, keep them company. Um, and then I also saw a difference with the growth and development um, where like that's how they would kind of decide what toys they were going to bring in or how they were going to administer certain medications, different things like that. So with, you know, an adolescent, if you were giving them stitches, you don't have to like hold them down and do all these extra things. But for a toddler, that is something that you're going to have to do um, just because they're not as cooperative. They're more scared. They don't fully understand like what is happening to them. So I thought that, that was another interesting part of pediatrics is just like the wide range of growth and development that you'll see on a daily basis.